Hi friends, so today I came across an interesting problem from an old question paper of an MIT integration there and I thought it might be interesting to share this with you. So you notice that this integral cannot be solved by most of the analytical methods, you know, the U sub, the trig substitution, integration by parts, partial fractions, name it. So for this integral, we're actually going to use something called the Leibniz integration rule. And what the Leibniz integration rule says basically is that if I have an integral from A to B of a function that takes up two variables, K and X, if, if I have an integral of such a kind, uh, let's suppose, okay, let's suppose I take derivatives with respect to K here, then this is going to be the same as the integral from a to b but now taking the partial derivative of this function k x with respect to x so you notice that as i put this derivative inside then it becomes a partial derivative this is called the leibniz integration rule i'll leave a link in the description to a wikipedia article where you can read more about this rule so that said let's apply this rule to solve this question all right of course this from, uh, the, this uh, technique works even if this was not a 7. So the first thing I'm going to do is to try and generalize this now. I'm going to actually let f of k to be equal to the integral from 0 to 1 of x to power k minus 1 divided by log x dx right so i'm um, let any number k here now let's take derivatives on both sides so basically I'm going to have the derivative uh, of this function f of k with respect to k then i'll have i could have put this derivative here of course okay i think i should do that just to show you that i've put derivatives on both sides so same thing here, the derivative with respect to k of the integral from 0 to 1 of x to power k minus 1 divided by log x k dx. But of course, according to the Leibniz integration rule, I can put this derivative inside here. And then uh, that's going to now become a partial derivative according to the rule. So that's 0 to 1. The partial derivative with respect to k of x to power k minus 1 divided by log x dx, right? So, just put this line here. Okay, so what's that going to become? The derivative, the derivative with respect to k of f of k equals the integral from 0 to 1. So the derivative with respect to k of this function here is just x to power k because uh, in this uh, in this derivative you actually consider log x as a constant and everything else. So you actually end up with x to power k dx. If you integrate this that's x to power k plus 1 divided by k plus 1 uh, this is evaluated with limits from 0 to 1, right? And uh, that's actually going to be, if I put 1 here, in, in for instead of x, I'll have 1 over k plus 1. And if I put 0 here, that's going to be a 0. So that turns out to be the integral of 1, uh, sorry, that turns out to be 1 over k plus 1. This, remember, represents the derivative with respect to k oops, of my function f of k. All right, so let's multiply dk on both sides. So I have d f of k oops, d f of k equals 1 over k plus 1 dk. Okay, so I can now take integrals on both sides. So I'll have f of k now is going to be equal to the integral, oops, the integral of 1 divided by k plus 1 with respect to k, which basically gives me log k 
okay okay that's the base e or i could have used the natural log there all right plus a constant but i will not put the constant because i know what the value of k is remember from the beginning instead of seven I actually put there k so for now i can bring back my value of k so if i put k equals seven i'll have f of seven equals uh the oh this must be k plus one is that so yeah sure so that's k plus one sorry about that okay so f of seven is log of seven plus one which gives us eight all right so that's our final solution thanks for watching this video subscribe below if you have not subscribed i upload content regularly on interesting problems in math and physics and i'll see you in my next video thanks